morning today we will see the helix on cone and helix on the cylinder uh, basically helix is a curve that is generated by a point moving uniformly on the surface of the cylinder or cone uh, there are so many applications of the helix basically thread uh, worm uh, helical staircases or shape of the spring so there are so many applications here we will see helix on cylinder and helix on cone so first we will see the helix on the cylinder question is given here a point is moving around the cylinder surface uh, of 40 mm diameter and keeping speed uniform simultaneously it advances in the direction of the axis by 55 mm also with uniform speed now here axis height is given 55 mm base diameter is given now this is a uh, basically first angle projection method so here in front view we are looking uh, rectangle and top view we are looking the circle having base diameter 40 mm so basically helix on cylinder is actually curve generated by a point which moves around the surface of the cylinder and at the same time it advances in the axial direction at a speed which keeps constant ratio to the speed of the rotation now here what is the method so here first you draw the circle having 40 mm diameter you divide the circle into 12 equal part that is 30 degree angle then you project here all points 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this rectangle is again divided into so many parts now this is the development of the lateral surfaces basically here we have to obtain the pi d distance so circumference this approximately you are getting 1 to 5.6 so this this are uh, di uh, la distance divided into 12 equal parts because we have divided the circle into 12 equal parts so here you have to divide into 12 equal parts so again 1 2 3 4 up to 12 this 12 parts we have divided then uh, you draw diagonal because uh, this point is moving with uniform speed along the axis or around the cylinder so from this point to this point you draw the diagonal so that you will get each and every point 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so whatever line getting from 1 or 2 suppose this is a 2 you will get this point 2 okay from this line you have to draw so you will get 2 then this is the line 3 so p3 point we can say and here <coughs> this is a p3 point so you will get the point 3 then 4 point you can observe here this is the 4 point same way you will go ahead you will get this is a helix on a cylinder then next problem basically So here another problem we will take here. Helix on a cone. So problem is draw a helix of one convolutions upon a cone, base diameter is 60 and axis is 80 and pitch is 80 mm. Or same problem can be asked here, a triangle, uh, we can say right angle triangle uh, of two sides of length 30 mm and height 80 mm then an hypotenuse 87 mm h1 figure triangle is completing one rotation uh, revolutions when point p point p is moving from bottom to top on the hypotenuse movement is uniform so this is moving and we have to uh, find out the locus of the point p how it is moving and we have to draw the curve so first of all this circle is having 60 mm diameter now this is a cone okay so axis height it is given this axis height will be here 8 mm now very very important point is here instead of uh, making division of 12 parts uh, to avoid the complexity i have divided into 8 parts you can observe here this half uh, or uh, diameter or radius we divide this part into 8 equal parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then we have divided this circle into 8 equal parts means this angle is 45 degree each okay so we will get 360 degree now uh, from this also what we have done here this distance we have divided into 8 equal parts same either you divide this line because this is a true length if this is a parallel line in first angle progression method then we will get this is a true edge or true, true length of the slant edge okay or we can say generator so again this length 
for generator you have to divide into eight equal parts one two three four five six seven eight or simply you can uh, go there point one two three four you will get these points one two three four five six you will get this point now uh, what we have done here how we will get this curve it is more, more important now here you can see that uh, first of all this is a center and we are taking this as a radius so first point we are getting here then this is a center and up to one one to this point suppose p this as a radius you have to draw arc from center to taking radius up to one one p you have to draw arc here so we will get point one because this is a one point then two then three four then taking center point say uh, taking this center and up to this point two is a radius draw arc here then taking three draw arc here then taking four draw arc here okay so this is a cutting point intersecting point now what you have to do you draw from these lines horizontal lines all horizontal lines you have to draw here then from these points again you will get curve here or we can say spiral here okay so from this point this is a one intersection point one okay from this point you draw direct line then you can see here three where is three you will get this point then again four you will get four then five you can observe here basically where is the five this is the five point okay so we will get the five point so again six then seven okay and then last point eight so we will get this is a curve we are getting on the helix on the cone basically this is a uh, rear side or this is a hidden side we can say we can see uh, when observer is look, uh, from looking from this side then only up to this point you can see after that you have to draw the dotted lines and this is related to the helix of the cone thank you